Playboy jet has finally touched down at Heathrow. To Russell's delight, first off the plane is the perfect picture. Playboy boss Hugh Hefner with his Playmate of the Year. Next, it's the family photo. Hugh with his three new girlfriends. Just come down a little bit. Just come down. No, 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 stop there, stop there. We want, we want Mr. Hefner, we need you in the middle, sir. Just keep back, guys. Just, just keep me out of the cold a bit longer. All of you over here, please. Thank you. And just in the middle here now, thanks. Back home in Texas, it's 40 degrees. On the tarmac, it's 12. Okay. Russell's got his pictures. Now Steve needs a quote. So you've got three girlfriends travelling with him? That's true. How's that work? Very well. <laughs> <laughs> and the names are Sandy, Mandy, and Brandy. Yeah. It really keeps things in the music. Is there a bit of jealousy there, though? No, no. Mm -hmm. It's a, you know, two more sisters, and, and uh, no. You know, very, very well. So you're just here for a couple of days, is it? Yes. We'll be here uh, a few days and go back on yeah. Thursday. Okay, do his name. Nice to be here. Thank you. Thank you. My favorite town. That was quite good, uh, quite a funny little line there when, uh, when I said, well, how does it work with the three girlfriends? He said, uh, very well, as, as he would do. But, uh, yeah, it's quite good stuff. Okay, you just wait there, okay, I'll just go. Eric has the authority to search Nasir's bags. That's it, is it? For a two-week visit? Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. He's certain that Nasir's passport has been altered, but has no proof that Nasir has done it. I have to take things out, okay? Eric's now looking for evidence to see if Nasir's telling the truth about his plans in the UK. Maybe we help you this way. Well, I'm afraid, sir, that it's up to me to do it. I know you want to help me, but the way to do it is for me to do it, OK? Oh, fantastic. Did you know that would happen then, did you? OK. I'm keeping these for now. Everything? Yeah, all of these. There is a letter that's come out of the bags, which is from his brother in New York. And basically, it says, Dear NASA, hi, hope you are fine. The best thing to do is to get a return ticket for New Delhi to London with the cheapest airline who gives you the most discounts. Make your travel plans in May and fly to London. Stay there for six months, look for a job. You cannot plan everything ahead. Who knows, you might get lucky and get settled in England. From a, a point of view of whether he's acceptable into the country or not, he's practically, with this letter, just hung on a cord to himself, really. What can we say? But we've still got to confront him with it anyway. While the remaining passengers are evacuated from Terminal 3's check-in area, Annabelle's still trying to trace the owner of the suitcase. A man has walked away from a suitcase and the baggage tag was Doha, London, Glasgow. And we're trying to find out if he's connected on today or anything about him. It was BD12 yesterday. He missed it. OK, bear with me. That's a suitcase. We're evacuating the terminal. It really isn't. Is there somebody who can do it? At El Al, the cash incentive is finally working for Peter. A family of six have realised they could make a lot of money by taking that later flight. I mean, for another six hours makes no difference as as to us, there. as long as we get there by tomorrow morning, it'll be all right. It's a lot of money as well. Isn't it? Certainly a very big consideration. It would make your holiday. <laughs> it would, yeah. indeed. Well, whatever happens, happens. It's a tricky numbers game for Peter, juggling passengers for this and the later flight. We'll put you down in case we need six people. But usually twos and threes is easier for us to play around. We can separate and put them on the flight. And at the end, we'll let you know the situation. It's not as clear cut as you can six. At the end of the flight, you don't know what you're actually gonna need. That's why we offer them money. The police have not been able to find any trace of the owner of the suitcase. With the help of airline and airport staff, they're now testing the suitcase to find out what's inside. What's happening at the moment is they're running a series of tests on the suitcase and hopefully they'll be able to determine whether there's any explosives inside. Hey, 
I need to ask you some more questions. All right, a proper please, interview please, now. Please, please, ask me. Eric now has to confront Nasir with the evidence he's discovered. I want you to explain why you've got this letter in your yeah. baggage yeah. that tells you, written yeah. in March, to come to the UK, yeah. stay here for six months and maybe yeah. even settle down yes, here, and you're me. now here in May. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit of a coincidence, don't you? Don't you think it's a bit of a coincidence? Yeah, yeah. Can you see it from I, my point I, of view? I, 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 Excuse me, let me finish. You are now here in May, and you're carrying in your baggage a letter from your brother that yeah. says go to the UK in May to find a job and maybe settle there. It's yeah. a bit too much of a coincidence from my point of view. Okay. You have finished now, no? Yeah. Okay, so let me clear it. He was first telling me to come to America because he's, I told him that he's a different from us. He left at home uh, years back. And I had, you can see that letter. This was his intention. My intention is not that. My intentions are clear. Me finding this in your baggage That's true. is of no help to That's you. That's true. If I can, I can go through it now from your point of view, it's, it's very... Uh, The numbers are still not adding up at El Al, and for Peter, it's time for the hard sell. We will give you £150 to go on a later flight tonight. Pardon? You had that offer. It's a good offer. No, Five no, hours? No, no, not as for a man as desperate as you. I would think we're talking about higher figures. That's, 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 that's the bottom line. Adding the noughts to no, that no, one. The offer is not good enough. It's got to be more than 100. No. No. If you give us a reasonable price, we would delay until the 9 o'clock flight. It's not, it's, not a, it's not negotiable. That's okay, fine. Figure. You should have told me that. It's obvious it's not negotiable. Airlines don't negotiate prices. Even with the money on offer, Peter can't find any more takers. So we're offering you £150 uh, pounds to go on the flight tonight. Yeah, I know. Anyone over under 12 gets 85. How many more? You need four more. We need four more people. Good luck. Passengers without seats are growing increasingly impatient. I'm beginning to lose my temper. How is it looking now? As far as I'm concerned, it is looking excellent, because they are incompetent, but to the best of my ability, they're not liars. And they sworn on their oath that we'll be on that plane. Do you feel confident then? If not, as a lawyer, they'd be vitissued first thing in the morning. Police still don't know whether the suspect suitcase contains explosives. I need to go and speak to my chief immigration officer, no tell him everything that's happened, and I'm just going to have to make a decision from there as to what we're going to do now, OK? My point of view is that I don't like it, I can smell something funny, mm. but what we've got is he's either telling us the truth now or he's had an hour to sit there and think about how I'm going to explain away this letter. And I would say that what would be decisive in finding out whether he's telling the truth or not now is whether or not this really was the date that this was refused. Because if that's false, then I wouldn't believe anything else he said about the letter. Okay. But if that is genuine, then I'd be inclined to think that he is maybe only coming for the visit. But on the face of it, we've got an alteration to the passport. Yeah. And... A letter that says, letter go to the UK in May and stay there. Shows he's coming for a reason other than a, as a yeah. visitor. Yeah. So I would suspect maybe um, detain him overnight, make the inquiry first thing in the morning, yeah. see what New Zealand say. Yeah. And, and if that's damning, it'll be a refusal. And if yeah. it's not, we'll let him in. The cash on offer from El Al has at last seduced another family to take the later flight to Israel. Four, five years. Four? Well, they have a baby, so I guess it's four. Four, it's four. They don't really... Fantastic. Okay, so let's get the bags to the side, check them in. These four volunteers are just what Peter needs to balance his numbers. Now it's time to sort out the cash. And they're getting other perks, too. Now I was promised taxi fares. In, in Israel, that's right. how do I go um, about those? Well, I need to take down your destination once you get to Ben Gurion. Okay. Where is it? Jerusalem. You need 